I thought I'd just pop up to say hi to you, see what's happening, of course, the bewitching hour, just around midnight. Always good to see who's about and have a wee chat with you just before you go to sleep, before you go off to Bobo's, you see. So tell Ted to tell Ted to tell Ted that Scotty McClue is live just for you, dinky do TikTok live streaming, and it's one specially for you. Good evening, says Crip. Good evening, Crip. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do from me, Scotty McClue. This is the big one. So good evening to you, and excellent to have you with us. There's Sparacles. Sparacles, are you not in your bed? There you are. You should be. But tell 10 to tell 10 that Scotty McClue is live right now. As soon as you come on, please follow me. Happy Wednesday, Connor. Yes, indeed. Polly is there with us. Dinky do, Polly. Good to have you with us and uh, welcome. Jaffa cakes, biscuits or cakes? <laughs> well, I've actually always called them biscuits. Say, have a biscuit. Would you like a Jaffa cake? That's what I would say. I adore them. Charlie. Hello, Scotty, says Charlie. Your favorite U.S. president, Scotty. Oh, my goodness. Well, I loved Lincoln because he freed the slaves. And, um, you know, I... Uh, I, I liked, uh, I liked, well, Woodrow Wilson was from Carlisle, you see? What about that? Good evening, Dinky Doo. Scotty, you should be in bed. It's quite late. I know, but I thought uh, I'd pop up and say hi just to see who was about. And guys, do follow me as soon as you come on because surprisingly, we're very, very big on viewers. We've got hundreds of thousands of of viewers to Scotty McCrew's TikToks live. There we are. We look so alike. OMG. Hello. Uh, any favorite current president? Um, well, I do like Joe Biden, you know, but I like John F. Kennedy. Of course, he was a remarkable man. I loved Ronald Reagan. Yes, Connor. Very good. Ronald Reagan, another goodie. There we are. We liked him. Now, Eliwas, I think we just need to say bye to you very early on in the proceedings. Guys, remember, if you're just a dirty, filthy wee troll, we don't entertain you on here. It's an instant ban. So anything negative, you've gone. I could listen to you all day. You're so funny, says Andy. I thank you, Andy. Uh, now, so there we are. Tammy, quite right. So there you are. Bonzi, you're going to go as well. Bonzi's gone. Guys, but don't worry. We'll get rid of the trolls early doors, and then we can have a proper chat. That's why I thought I'd pop up late, because I thought a lot of them may well be in bed. Do you hunt stags? I have actually been on a deer stock, but I've never hunted a stag. So there we are. Now, who have we got here? People from the UK are raising money. Yes. So there we are. Hydrated. You've gone as well. Bye. Uh, all the wee trolls are going, guys, just so you know. On Scotty McClure's lives, trolls are toast. So there we are. And they just go. We don't have them. There we are. Excellent stuff. So anybody with all that negative stuff, just away they go. Lovely to have you with us. OMG, it's Santa, but Irish. Guys, can you all follow me, please? Very short. Let me see how many followers I've got because we're very short on followers. That should be at 50,000 by now, and it's sitting at 7,000. You know, now that's dreadful when you think about it. But very good on all the wonderful people who have followed. So there you are. So very good on you guys. And uh, also, <clears throat> later on, we'll be liking the videos. So there we are. Have you ever been to Straven? Yes, of course I have. I know Straven very well. Harry Lauder lived in Stra Straven. Uh, I wonder what these trolls' parents would think about what they're saying. Connor, their parents would be shocked. I have a good mind to uh, save these things and show their parents. Say, this is your son. You know, this is your daughter. All right, Scotty, what's happening? Ah, Jimmy, busy, busy, busy. It's been an excellent day. And we've managed a little pop-up now and again just to say hi. I'm trying out this during lockdown, and people are very appreciative. So I've just been impressed Incredible. There we go.
Hi from Monaco, Oscaro. We love Monaco. Dinky Dusa. Wonderful, the Grand Prix. Uh, so look, we, we look so alike. Check my PFP to see how alike we look. Well, I'm very glad we do. Excellent stuff, you know. Uh, so there we are. Now, one or two idiots, but um, not too many. Lucky you, man. I'm at 700. Well, come on, get following on here. Join me and you'll do better. Everybody needs to follow. What's the dog's name in the picture behind you? Gigi. That's Lord Reith. Lord Reith, called after the man that started the BBC in 1922. Have you ever been to Dumfries and Galloway? I know it at the back of my hand. There we are. Hi, Scotty Dinkidoo. Scotty, surely bedtime for you. It's 12 a.m. I know, Lachie, but camera ha'u, I thought we'd just pop up and see who was about. So there we are. We, we'll get rid of a lot of the trolls. When it's later at night, they've gone to their bed. So there we are. There's K's getting banned. Bye, K's. Bye, bye, bye. Excellent stuff. Guys, remember if you say anything inappropriate, instant ban. Lifetime ban. And remember, you're also watching something that's totally different to what you've ever seen before. This is real quality. So if you can't say anything interesting or clever, just go away and try and finish your two-piece jigsaw. That's what you should be doing. There's Charlie Dinkidoo and Leeds United. Hi from Dundee. Hello, I like your beanie. I thank you. What are your pronouns? You never, ever, ever ask anybody pronouns on here. We are all inclusive. So it doesn't matter. You see, it's very disruptive. There's an Irish trap saying, up the Royal Artillery. He's obviously a British soldier from Ireland. We love it. Hello from your Irish neighbours. Hello, top of the morning to you. There we are. Yes, I can say good morning to you guys. I don't like to say good night. So there we go. Now... Um, what do we got here? What do we got here? Good morning. It's past midnight, Spiracles. It is. It is past midnight, but we are here for you, you see. Quick pop up, see what's happening. So there we go. Now, what do you think of Ireland? I love it, Shannon. I know it like the back of my hand. I very often go down to the Ring of Kerry, down to Clonakilty down to Killarney, into Cork, you know, so that's me, you see. Scotty, put the old glasses on. Oh, no, no, no. I can't see a thing with the glasses on. <laughs> there we are. I love plants. Quite right, Abby. Hi from Dundee. Dinky do Dundee. Thoughts on the famous Alexander Brothers. Love them. Two very, very talented guys. Very good. Excellent player. You know, an excellent singer. There we are. What your pronouns? You never, ever ask pronouns. Very, very rude and divisive. There we are. Just support domestic abuse. Now, what kind of half-witted idiot are you, Murray? Yeah? Who would support domestic abuse? Right, guys, Murray's leaving us. Can we all say goodbye to Murray and wish him all the best? Doing nothing with his life. Fantastic. There we go. End of Murray. <laughs> he is toast. Hello from Ireland. Hello, Ireland. Dinky do, Michael. Lovely to have you with us. And welcome, welcome. Do you know where Banff is? I know it like the back of my hand. Banff and Buchan. I used to work at Grampian Television in Aberdeen, and I would read the news for your mother and father. I'm from Dunblane. We love Dunblane, Kareth. There we are. And uh, what did you have for dinner? What did I have for dinner? I had mince and potatoes and Brussels sprouts. So stand well clear. There we are. Are you from Scotland? Yes, there we are. Had to think there. Guys, can you all follow me? Now, never ever ask Ash, do people support BLM? It's very divisive. We are all inclusive on here. 
So you don't need to support anything, or you can support everything. We do. So there we are. All right, so you never ask these questions. No pronouns, no do you support, no did you work in this shop, none of that caca that you usually use on your junk. Yes, okay. So there we are. Of course I know Banff. Scotty, Scotty. Fantastic. Now, who have we got here? What's the most important invention by a Scot? I think the steam engine by James Watt in Greenock. The condensing steam engine. That was the start of the Industrial Revolution. Are you from Ireland? I'm from Kilkenny. We know Kilkenny. We love it. Uh, do you know the Irish folklore of the fae? Yes, the wee folk. What time do you go to bed when I decide? There we are. Once I've spoken to all of you, you're an icon. My Uncle David's a big fan, says Charlie. Thanks, Charlie. Damn, Scotty, you're up late than I, I am, Angie. Yes, but I make no apologies. There we are. Lovely to see you all. Scotty, do you miss being on the radio? Well, Jamie, what would be more important? Do you miss me on the radio? You see, that's the thing. Uh, I mean, I have no problem. I'm on the radio now, effectively. Hi from Bomor in Isla, says the wonderful Ali. Yes, I'll come over and see you and we'll have a chat at the Round Kirk, at the top of the main street there. Kamra Ha'u Hachema. There we are, fantastic. Get lost, Murray, says the wonderful Abby. Quite right, Abby. Have all the trolls gone to bed? Pretty well, yes. We got rid of the bulk of them so we could chat. I'm from Nottingham, says Angela. Angela, I used to broadcast to Nottingham. Do you remember Scotty McClure on Century 106 for the Midlands? Uh, there we go. Now, what have we got here? I'm from Echo Fechen, mate. You're from the Fechen. Lovely to have you with us from the Fechen. So there we are. And uh, actually, Scotty's not from Scotland, he's from the universe, but currently resides in Scotland. Simperoni, you're 100%. Guys, can you get following, please? We're very low on followers. I've had half a million people have viewed my TikToks live, and I've got 7,000 followers. Now, I put that down to sheer laziness. Kareem, you've just been on and given me a TikTok present. Thank you, thank you. Yes, uh, so there you are. So user, you need to know that we support everything on here, right? We don't have anything divisive. Wait, what's the badge? That's the Scotty McClure badge. Dinky do. Here it is here. Can you see that? Scotty McClure. Dinky do. There we are. That's the badge. That's what people should be wearing. There we are. Right, we can play a game. Guess what city I'm in? You're in London. What years did you work for? Grampian TV, Lachie is asking. 1984, Lachie. So there you are. I was with ITV from 84 to 89. 36 years ago. 37 years in June. Who's your dues, Scotty? I fit like still, sorry. Grandach, I'm just chaffing away. Speaking of Doric, do you speak of Doric? I oh, mind you, there's some good folk on here, eh? I get killed if I'm keen, though, eh? Uh, Scotty, do you support? You don't ask any of that user. You never ask any. LGBTQ, BLM, any of that stuff, you don't need to ask. It's divisive. We're all the same on here. Yeah, race, creed, colour, the lot. We're way ahead of you, so you never ask that. Guys, if you're coming on, never ask all that stuff. We're way ahead of you, miles ahead of you. You're a vibe lad. So there we are. We are indeed. Do you have a pet? Yeah, there's Lord Reith, the Labrador. Look at that. See him in the picture there. Have you ever met anybody who's at a top 40 hit? Of course I have. I've interviewed them. Scotty, my grandfather helped make the Flying Scotsman. This is not a lie. No, I believe you, Charlie. Are we talking 1922? Something like that, 22, 23. So there we are. So user 178, less of it, please. Oh, you're spamming us. Now, user, you're spamming me, so I'll dump you for spamming. I'll not ban you. I'll mute you. I think that's best. There we go. 
and then you won't spam, you see. There we are. He's been muted. He's gone. Now, there we are. Excellent stuff. Uh, Zotic Springle, you're about to leave us. Bye. Okay, excellent. Anybody that comes on with any of this racism stuff, binned right away. It's quite late, says Suzuki. Of course it is, Suzuki. It depends where you are. I would imagine America is just getting in. John Deere or Fendit, both brilliant. Love my John Deeres, though. Brilliant, the combines. Kareem, thank you so much for sending me that gift. Milner the Goat, you've been told. There we are. OMG, you're ignoring me. I'm from Falkirk. Stephen, that's not why I'm ignoring you. No, 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 no. So there, I'm gay as that. Okay, of course it is, Gavin. It be anything you like on here. Nobody cares. Uh, when did you work for the Grampian? Do you remember Callum McLeod? He was on the board. I remember Callum very well. Uh, Ian Tennant was the chairman. So there we are. Sir Ian Tennant, Captain Tennant, as I called him. And I remember Callum, lovely man. There we are. Now, Genghis, you just need to stick your head up your backside and blow your nose till the pressure equalises. You dirty, filthy wee midden. There he goes, gone. Okay, end of Genghis. And who else have I got? FG, you're going to? Fantastic. We love it. Guys, this is a troll fest. It's fantastic. We are firing them into space. Scotty, do you still do radio? I do, Alan. Yes, absolutely. But I haven't been on a station for a year. Thoughts on John Lewis and Aberdeen? I'm very sorry about it. We're lovely, lovely shops. Loved Aberdeen. Who are your pop star interviews? Everybody. Wait till I tell you this. An old friend of mine was sitting in his studio, and these young guys came in. This was around the early 60s. These young guys came in and said, can we sit with you? We're waiting for an interview. He said, of course you can, guys. Sit yourselves down. And they chatted and chatted, and they doodled on paper. They were just doodling and just passing time. It was the Rolling Stones. Mick and the Rolling Stones. So there we go. We've got rid of this. That's you gone. Bye-bye. 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 Excellent. First class stuff. Gone. Do you think face masks should be mandatory for educational settings? They are simple so it's not a question of think. They are. It's the law. There we are, Dink. Well, hillbilly. So there we are. So FG's gone. Guys, remember if you're a spammer or you're a troll, you are toast on here. Can you shout out to my wee cousin, Nakan? Absolutely, J Mac. Let's hope we have some nice summer weather. That's a unifying thought. Oh, what? Guys, can you all follow me just now? Yep, and I need an experiment. I need you to like all of my videos to see if we can get the figures up. Here's what you're following. You're watching Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet, the world's top broadcaster, the world's most humble man, live on TikTok at Scotty McClue. Dinky Doo is my catchphrase. Follow, like, share this now, enjoy all the videos, and tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Then, la pièce de résistance. Please follow me right now. So can we have a follow fest? Yeah, if we can have a follow fest just now, because I've only been up three weeks. Hundreds of thousands have watched me, and I've got 7,400 followers. Something's wrong there, isn't it? I think so. Now, also, can you like all the videos? Could somebody volunteer to go and like the videos, please? Well said, King. Absolutely. Bind and toast. Off go the trolls. Favorite place you've visited? South Yorkshire. Just beautiful. Sam, why would you ask on a top, top, top TikTok talk show do you still work at a supermarket? This is standard CAC that you use when you're watching your junk. That makes you an empty head. All right, now, can you do better or do I give you a lifetime ban? You tell me. There we are. Okay, Sam. 
Sam claps. You're a proper geezer. I am green light. Bless you, says Father Foyle. Thank you, Father. Yes, indeed. Uh, in nomine patris et fili et spiritus sanctus. I'd imagine Scotty's favorite party to be a birthday party. Yes, Simperoni. Do you like iron brew? I do. There we are. Scotty, mate, how are you? Dinky do, I'm very well. Hi, Blantyre. Oh, very nice. So there we are. Now, Seamus, you've wasted your chance, so you've gone. Seamus is toast, guys, for being a dirty, filthy wee midden. Gone. Bye, Seamus. <laughs> uh, Callum McLeod was my grandfather. Lucky. That is fantastic. Yes, who else did we have on the board at the time? We had uh, Alec Mayer was the MD, Eki. And we had, uh, and Donald Waters was the head of finance. And uh, Ian was the chairman, lovely man, Ian Tennant. And uh, we had Callum, your, we had your grandfather, and we had Lord Forbes. Uh, marvellous, marvellous people. There we are. Now, two have we got here. Um... Oh, gone, never back. You need to go and never come back. You're a dirty, filthy wee midden too. There we are. Fantastic. Lucky, that's amazing. Yes, he was a lovely man, and he used to all come and talk to me. There we are. I love your hair. Thank you. Very checked. So there we are. Now, we're getting rid of most of them. The McFarland clan here, where's the accent from? Um, it's not so much an accent, I don't think. It's just the way I speak. There we are. Kamraha, ooh, Madden, 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 ta. So there we are, Madden, ha, Manta, Manta. Yes, indeed. Kamraha, ooh, Hakama. Too many trolls are going to get hit by the band hammer. Well, absolutely. A dirty, filthy wee midden. That's what they are. They are KMO, yes indeed. They will be going. So there we go. Who have we got here? Excellent stuff. Um, do you drink 35p energy drinks? No, I've changed my energy provider. I wouldn't uh, have anything like that. I'll tell you what I do drink. I drink Adam's Ale. Kunzel juice. The water. As we say in Germany, Wasser. So if you had a storm in a teacup, in German that would be Un Sturm in ein Wasserglas. Oh, that's lovely. Yes, we're trolls. What we're doing, we're trying to just raise the tone a bit, guys. Trolls are in the mid in the gutter, they're middens. So there we are. Thoughts on Aberdeen and Arsenal. I like the gunners, you know. But when I was up in Aberdeen, uh, the manager, and Lackey will know this, the manager was Alex Ferguson. That's your videos like. Still, sir, you're a gem. Let me see if it shows up. We're in the middle of an experiment here. Yes, there's a certain bit of movement there, but we're still very short in followers. Guys, can every single one of you follow me, please? Follow me, it's got to be Follow me now. Very important. I'll watch and watch you following. Uh, Radio Scotland, are you on that? I've been on that, Angela, yes. I sat in for Fred McCauley, the famous comedian, uh, great character. Will we ever see Scotty go to Hollywood? I think we might, Simperoni, you know. I'd like a small part in a movie, so I need to go and see them. There we are. Is it true the perfect spoken English comes from a place in Scotland? It, the best, the finest English ever spoken comes from Inverness. Because they pronounce absolutely everything. Scotty, have you ever listened to? No, I haven't, J. Bo. So there we are. Scotty, what's your favorite book? I'm reading some great true historical stuff by the novelist, uh, not the novelist, the author, Michael Fry, right? So have a look at that. Great stuff about Scotland. I was watching your old videos. They're great. 
Thanks, David Mack. Guys, remember you can get onto the Scotty McClue YouTube channel and subscribe. All you need to do is tap the little Instagram beside my profile. Do you see the little square there? If you tap that, you'll get the link direct to the YouTube channel. And you can go on and subscribe. You can't beat Scottish water. It's the best. Guys, can you all follow me, please? Uh, who's this? Jaden, you'll have to go. We don't want anything to do with your NDL and any of that cack. Okay, so off you jolly well go, son. That's Jaden's leaving us, guys, for being an idiot. Okay, thank you very much. That's the end of him and his mob. There were thoughts on Miss Sturgeon. Excellent politician, very, very good first minister, very good for Scotland. But uh, we'll see if we get independence. If Scotland gets independence, I'll leave England in a heartbeat, says Reptile. Bye-bye, Dafty, absolutely MSN. Another Dafty bites the dust. There we go. Fantastic. Here's another one here called Shush. She's just as daft. That's shush away too, guys. Bye. There we go. We don't need these people. We don't even need these people in our lives. Have you seen Lord of the Rings? Oh, gee boy. J.R.R. Tolkien. What about The Hobbit? There we go. Uh, you're not any good now. You're not rude and you don't have debates. David Mack, has something maybe escaped your tiny mind? We don't have the telephones. Yeah? Hello? We. Wakey, wakey, sleepy boy. There we are. My name is Saunders. Is Saunders a Scottish surname? Well, the Saunders that I know are Saunders Row, and Row was A.V. Row, Elliot Row of Avro Aircraft. And he got together with Sam Saunders, the launch builder, and they built um, boats, beautiful, beautiful boats and hovercraft down in uh, the Isle of Wight. At cows. Did you know Hamish Imlach? I personally didn't know Hamish, but I do have an LP by Hamish Imlach. Yes, absolutely. What currency will we use in Scotland if we're independent? The pound Scots, KGS. Either sterling, which wouldn't be a problem, we could peg to sterling, or the pound Scots. The pound Scots was what we used prior to the Union, and we had to seriously devalue our own currency to facilitate economic union. Seriously devalued Scotland in the process. Now, Ruby, is that the very best your brain will do, asking me if I work in a store? Yeah, I have done. But is that the best that your brain can do? You're watching the world's top TikTok. Bandit Bra, what are you doing? Bandit Bra is giving me gifts, and he's giving me lots of gifts. Bandit Bra, thank you. He's sending me 28, 29, 30. No, Bandit Bra, stop. 35 TikToks. Thank you. So much bandit bra. He's doing it again. I've asked him to stop and save his money. He's giving me more. He's giving me another 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Stop. Oh, bandit bra. That's very, very kind. Stop. Very kind of you and very generous. Bandit bra, stop. You're way up at 45. Stop. Stop at 50. Stop at 50. Stop! Still going. Guys, you've got to wa watch this guy. Bandit Bra. Bandit Bra is giving away all his money to Scotty McClue right now. Oh, my goodness me. Ruby, I was in the middle of telling you off. Do I ban you? Or can you grow up and be sensible? Bandit Bra, that's... N Bandit Bra, that's 100. Stop at 100, please. That must be 150. He stopped at 99, and I think he gave me another 50. Sturgeon has my respect. Bojo is a loose cannon. Well, I think Bojo came in at the wrong time, you know? he's not. That's not really his thing. He was a very good mayor of London, and I have to say about 25 years ago, 
I was being asked by some very senior people, because believe it or not, Scotty McClue gets asked because of very wise counsel. I've been credited with that, and I got asked about who would make a good leader of the Tory party, because they were scraping the barrel after John Major. And um, I said, well, look, it's a very long shot. Bearing in mind, this is 20, 20, between 20, 25 years ago. I said, you could probably have a look at Boris Johnson. And one of their faces lit up. He said, Boris, we were thinking about that. So maybe in a roundabout way, Scotty McClure has facilitated, uh, you know, Boris becoming uh, the prime minister. You never know. Scotty, we can see the jealousy in his little pea brain. He's jealous of the Lord of the Airwaves. I think that was his problem. That was so kind, so kind of that very generous person. So there we are. Uh, now there, David Mack, but you're live, numbnut. I was live on the radio, numbnut. Did you not know that, numbnut? What? I mean, does everything just go past you? Wakey, wakey, sleepy boy. I'm live now, and I don't have the phones. Do you get it? Yep. Okay, good. So there we are. It's a different type of show altogether. We'll use the pund. Well, are we using the punt or the pund or the pound sterling? I miss hovercraft. Well, if you look at all the big hovercraft called after the Lord Mountbatten, the Princess Margaret, you'll see they had SR in front of their code letters. That stood for Saunders Row. Yes, so there you are. They became British hovercraft, uh, and I think after that, did they become, was one of the big helicopter companies after that? There we are. I'll have to, I'll have to check that out. Just found out about vowels. I've been using them for years without knowing. I'm 51. Oh, my goodness me, still, sir. Do you agree with building houses on the green belt or should we keep our farms and fields? Well, sadly, uh, you know, I think Brexit is going to kill off farming. There, that's going to be the next problem caused by Brexit. First, the fishing. Band of brath. Band of brath. I'm going to have to make a note of this and keep an eye on you. He's just sent me 35 tick talks plus I think a hundred that's a hundred and thirty five TikToks that's incredible on the topic of work what's your career oh I've done lots of things I worked since I was 12 television and radio and education can you recommend Jabo Jabo what are you doing Jabo is giving me a load of TikToks as well you're very very generous guys thank you can you recommend a specific place to visit for camping in Scotland? Anywhere in Scotland that's got a legitimate camping site, once it's all opened up, you will love it. When you say camping, guys, can you follow me, please? I don't understand this. Jabo, what are you doing? Jabo has just given me 55 TikToks. Guys, I'm overwhelmed. Thank you for your kindness and your generosity. Jabo's doing it again. He's given another 70. You deserve them, pal. J-Boy. Jabo, J-Boy. So kind of you. That must cost you a fortune. There's Lord Reith there when behind me. Lord Reith the Labrador. What's your opinion on the Israeli-Palestinian conflict? I think it's dreadful it's still going on. You know, dreadful it's still going on and that they're edging these poor souls. Do you know what I mean? But also I can understand both sides. You see, Scotty McClure's problem, if you could call it that, is he can see everybody's point of view. Big Stuart, you're going, hang on. 
Let's bin Big Stuart. Big Stuart's binned. Bind them off, guys. We don't want any of that on here. Have you been to the rest and be thankful? Angela, as a wee one, I travelled it almost every weekend. And when my parents, my parents were from Argyle, and we used to go round every weekend to Ardrishig and Tarbot, and you went up the rest and be thankful. And when my parents first started coming round, they used the old military road. My uncle used to drive a bus for link lines in 1928, and in the snow, they stopped at the bottom of the old military road, put on the snow chains, drove to the top, and took them off again to save the paint on the mud guards. They had so much pride in their buses. Lauren says, Scottish Daddy, I called your show twice about 20 years ago. Maxie, I am very glad. Did you get cut off or did you get to say your piece? That show is the most successful radio show ever. Nothing has ever touched it. Brexit is the result of English identity crisis, driven out of nostalgia for lost empire. Reptile, I think you're 100% correct. It was also fired by xenophobia and all of the Alf Garnet's voting. But it was also, there's no need to have Brexit. It was because Europe was threatening to look into the tax affairs of very wealthy people. And they obviously thought, get us out of there. Manipulate the people to vote us out. So you've all been worked from the back there, and it's cost every single one of you £200 billion for nothing. There we are. So we should never have left Europe. Bye, big Stuart Dafty. How tall are you? Just around six foot per day. Six foot in my high heels. <laughs> yes, I'm just checking that user. Yes. Yes. Can you say happy birthday to my brother Connor? So there you are. He's six months today. I can, Connor. Have you been in Still Game? No, but they reckon I may have been the inspiration for Still Game. I don't know what you think about that. It's interesting. Rest and be thankful, scary. Well, it is nowadays, Abby, but it didn't used to be. But there's landslips now due to the torrential rain we get and the drainage. I've been wondering what is was your career? I was... Uh, a banker with a B, yes. I worked on the boats. I was a cabin boy. And um, then uh, I was in banking. And then the theatre. And then television. And then radio. And that brings us just about to here. Fantastic. So there we go. Uh, I knew you were ha. You have to leave us. Bye. There we are. What a clown. He says he's a clown himself. He knows he's a clown. <laughs> oh, no. Woo -ha. So there we are. Who's giving me presents here, guys? Fred Dibner, dude, we meet again. I loved Fred Dibner. I didn't get to meet him personally, but I walked down there. So there we are. Tell me something about the unification under the Stuarts. Well, what happened... Danny, thank you so much. What, Danny, stop. What happened is that they parachuted Queen Anne in. She was the last of the Stuarts. She died in 1714. So she died seven years after the Union. King William had been very, very naughty. He was not a nice guy, guys. You know, and I'm telling that for all our friends in the Orange Lodge here. Be very wary of King William. King Billy was a baddie. So there we are. Uh, J. Can, you'll have to go. Absolutely. We don't want any of that. There's J. Can gone. Another dafty gone. Uh, so, Queen Anne, she pulled a fast one. She was a proddy. And she managed to get through by one vote. 
the act of secession that a Catholic couldn't sit on the British throne because the British throne had been quite often Catholic. Well, everyone was Catholic up until Henry VIII. So uh, Queen Anne then decided she wanted Scotland because she knew it was valuable. So she got hold of the nobles who had been fighting each other, the Aristos, and she bribed them with things like 15 quid, 20 quid, 25 quid. One got a hunter in silver. And um, they let it through the Duke of Hamilton at the time, who was swarthy, swarthy and uh, slippery. And uh, she bribed him and he could have ran it. There was also quite a lot of money. It was about 18 grand got up to Scotland and disappeared. So it was a, a wee backhander. You see, so that was Queen Anne, and of course she completely ruined Scotland, and right up until Margaret Thatcher, they just sucked the life out of it, uh, because we give them £75 billion a year. So that was Queen Anne for you, so there you go, she shouldn't have been in the throne. Piggy, is that really the best you can do on TikTok's finest talk show? What kind of level do you operate at, Piggy? You know, right down the bottom. Did you know Glasgow's more air pollution than London? Simbroni, I that surprises me. I know Hope Street used to be very bad for pollution. It was the most polluted. In Scotland, we benefit from the Barnet formula. No, 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 KG. Think about it. We give them 75 billion. They give us back 30. So where are we benefiting? You know, are you needing a wee course in mathematics? There we are. Block the daft ears. Do you mean like KGS? <laughs> Scott's opinion on NDL, we don't discuss it on here. We have nothing to do with it. There we are. We don't like any extremists, any of that. So there we are. Now, uh, what we got here... on. What we got here, Sophie? What's that on your head? That's the Scotty McClure badge. How fantastic is that? Dinky do. Now that's the answer I wanted. I don't understand why people say that. There we are, Jabo. Yes, indeed. Uh, Scotty, what are we on about this? I've told you I'm not having this. I'm going to block you. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, the Act of Union, 1707. Yes, indeed, you are correct. So there we are. Dinky do. The Scottish went bankrupt. No, no. No, no. King William bankrupted Scotland intentionally to take away its power. He didn't give the backing to the De Ryan scheme, which was very flawed anyway, that he promised. So let's get it straight. Let's keep all these things straight. Ghost stories, please. Brexit has to reignite calls for a united Ireland and made Scottish independence inevitable. Yes, Brexit, the Brexiteers have betrayed and broken Britain. Yeah. The Remainers in Europe are the true patriots, and there are over 50 million Remainers in the country. 70 million people, just under, have been robbed of their, of their EU citizenship and can no longer have the freedom to travel or work in Europe. How bad is that? And we begged, begged on our bended knees in the 60s to join the common market, begged because we were bust. So there we are. So that's what I say there. Mon the Rangers, says McKenzie. So I have to say, in the interest of balance, Mon the Hoops. King Henry VIII, looking, thank you. He was a, a domestic abuser, though. John Knox, your thoughts? John Knox was a wonderful man because he wanted a school in every parish. The Catholic Church had kept people in ignorance. And uh, the Mass was in Latin, so people couldn't understand it, but they knew their responses. 
And I don't think the Mass was really in English till quite late on the 20th century. So there we are. Um, well, of course, nobody likes that. I take it you're talking about uh, the middle word is defence. Am I right? Nobody ever wants anything like that. Shocking, shocking, shocking. So there we are. Absolutely shocking. Do you watch Poirot? Yes, I do. I love David Suchet's work. Outstanding. That's John Suchet, the newscaster's brother. So there we are. Uh, now, I think we've got this away, guys. Should have. Excellent. Getting rid of most of the trolls. Uh, my old high school is called Queen Anne, the Queen Anne School. She was remarkable. I mean, furniture with the Queen Anne legs. Uh, but she was quite an angry, feisty woman. I'll tell you what she did do. She engaged John Vanbra, the architect, to build Blenheim Palace as a present to the Duke of Marlborough for uh, winning the Battle of Blenheim and the Battle of Malplaquet. And that was Churchill's. That was John Churchill. That was Winston Churchill's ancestor that he based himself on. And Vanborough, who was also a playwright, a great uh, restoration playwright, and uh, Queen Anne and Vanborough had some set to over the cost of Blenheim. And if you've ever been to Blenheim Palace at Woodstock, just outside Oxfordshire, it's stunning. Absolutely stunning. Can you give me your opinions in 1669? Uh, Fortnite, I think you need to defo go. Guys, we're getting rid of Fortnite because he's a dirty, filthy wee midden. So there we go. Louis going as well. Louis is gone. There we are. Dirty, filthy wee midden. And who else have we got? So Louis is gone. Let's see what else have we got. John Knox is no longer. He rings the doorbell. John Knox no longer. Get to bed, Elgin. Why? What's it to do with you, Jim? You get to bed. What do you think of Lord Hume? He was a lovely, lovely man, Alec Douglas Hume. Yes, I knew him and his wife, Elizabeth. They were very, very sweet people. Elizabeth was the daughter of Alec's headmaster at Eton. Shout out, please. Says Shan, have you ever climbed Traprene Law? No, I haven't been, but I know it very well. Yes, I've got friends that live out that way. The English are now second-class citizens. Irish citizenship is worth more. Absolutely. Just having a wee look, guys. Scotty McClue, camera ha the new. Jack Dinky-Doo, camera ha hachi ma -che. And uh, the Scottish set up a colony in which failed and lost fifth of the wealth. Yes, because A, the plan was flawed, and B, King William pulled out and stole the money. Yes, so that's why it failed, and people died in the Isthmus of Panama. There we are. So there we are. Kamraha, ooh. Very good to have you with us. Dinky doo. They can use a work visa to go and live anywhere in the world. No, but KGS, that's no good. You see, we've taken a huge backward step. Yeah? That's like me losing my house through a storm or something. You're saying, I bet you could wrap yourself in a blanket and you'll be warm enough. Do you see what I mean? It's just nonsense. KGS, don't try and defend Brexit because it's indefensible. There's not one single benefit to Britain in leaving the UK. Not one for anybody. So there you are. Thoughts on public schools? Uh, a lot of them do an excellent job. Very, very good. Century 105, I remember years ago, I loved the arguments with listeners. Dave Law, Century 105 was a huge station. I love Woodstock and Bladen. So you know Bladen Churchyard, where Winston Churchill's buried. I visited his grave many a time. Sorry for not being in the streams. I've been dealing with mental health. Harry, 
Don't you worry about that. Stay strong. Yes. What are your thoughts? Remember, mental health is not a weakness. It's a result of staying strong for far too long. Always remember that, Harry. Top man, I send you strength. What are your thoughts on the secrets of the Vatican? Well, KGS, there will always be secrets in something like the Vatican. Trust me. So there we are. Did you go to Eton? No, I didn't, but I know it very well. I visited it and seen Percy Bysshe Shelley, Shelley the poet's initials, carved in the hall. Uh, so there we are. Do you remember me? I'm from Wales. Of course I do, John. Lovely to have you with us. Guys, can you follow us, please? Alexi, don't spam. Or we have to say bye. In fact, we might just say bye anyway because you sound a bit silly. Anybody that spams like that. Guys, can I have some followers, please? You know, we're so short on followers. It's just not right. And let's have everybody liking the videos, please. Okay, okay. There we are. Do you like Thatcher? Uh, she was a remarkable character, but I do not like what she did to this country, although somebody had to grasp the nettle, and I do not like the fact that she sucked the life out of Scotland and flogged off the shipyards at rock bottom price to her friends. Shocking. So there we are. Why did the blonde stare at the frozen orange juice can for two hours? Because it said concentrate. Simperoni. That's not fair on blondes. So there we are. Scotty, if you could have dinner with any other people, who would you pick? I'd like to talk to Jesus. I'd like to talk to James Watt. I'd like to talk to Robert Burns. That's three. I'd like to speak to Josiah Wedgwood. Um, do you remember me? I'm from St. David's in Wales. Join, of course I do. And we send you love. So, uh, So there we are, says Domno. Koashin Domno. Sure. R.I.P. Paul Ritter, yes, indeed. Good night, Scotty, you cheer me up, dinky do. Why did Brexit happen? Because it was a fight, it was a party political stunt that went horribly wrong. And all the wee six mini union flag weavers thought, ooh, we're getting our country back. Our country hadn't been anywhere. Now we've surrendered our freedoms and our sovereignty to a bunch of hooray Henrys who are working every single one of us from the back. Okay, Coke, that's it straight. <laughs> so there we are. Do you prefer takeaway or dining in at the pizza shop? Um, oh, both. As long as we get a pizza, I don't mind. Our down says the IRA. That's passe. That's all gone now. There's no need for any of that stuff. Ireland is free, and that's finished. So put it out your head, move on, you know, acknowledge the uh, peace process, and there we are. A hundred dollars to say, oh, wah, oh, wah. Pop in the hundred dollars plants, and I shall do the oh, wah, oh, wah. Uh, hi, Dom, do you remember me? I'm from Wales. Yes, of course I do. That's what we're just saying. Guys, can you follow me, please? Dinky do. I'm short on followers. I've got hundreds of thousands of viewers, but I've not got enough followers. Please follow me. There we are. There's no reason I should have hundreds of thousands of followers. I think it's heart laziness. I live in the Cotswolds. What are your memories of the area? Well, many, many happy memories of all these Beautiful little Cotswold villages, stone on the wold and all that. Uh, Winston Churchill was a genocidal maniac. Uh, yes, he may well have been Alan, but he was also a remarkable man and uh, quite a good politician. So there you are. But yes, I take on board. There was all of that. Uh, so there we are. $100. Well, get the money in and then we'll do it. There we are. I think I've had, I'm trying not to. And the miners, 
Of course, Angela, you see, Scotty McClue adores the miners and what they've done for all these things. You know, wonderful. Down pit. Thatcher handled that very, very, very badly. Hello from New Zealand. We love New Zealand. What time are we at in New Zealand? Are we about midday? No, one o'clock. One o'clock lunchtime. Would you support a de-unified United Kingdom? Yes, of course. You know, absolutely. I think if Northern Ireland wants to stay as Northern Ireland, it could go independent. Scotland could easily go independent. England could easily go independent. And Wales could go independent. And what you might get, what about a triumvirate of Northern Ireland, Scotland and Wales? You see, that might be the new United Kingdom. What do you think of Ian Fleming? Huge, huge fan of Ian Fleming. He was a remarkable man. His father was killed in the First World War. His father was a member of Parliament, and he fought in, I think it was in France, probably in the trenches. Uh, he was an officer in the army. Valentine Fleming. They were Fleming's the bankers. And Ian was married to Anne Fleming, who was a terrific London hostess. And um, he was a commander in the RNVR. So there we are. And I think he was to do with midget submarines. But he was a wonderful man. And he was getting a bit short of money because they were very generous hosts. Even although the family, he had brothers as well who were the bankers. They were in the banking side. So Ian got tap-tapping on his typewriter and invented James Bond, kind of based on his own exploits. But I'll tell you a lovely, lovely story. There was, a, I think it was an architect who built a house along the road from Ian. And Ian thought the house was very ugly. And he had run-ins with this guy. And the architect was called Blofeld. So Ian wrote Blofeld into his books. And that was how he got Blofeld. So there you are. Top Fleming knowledge there, Scotty. I'm a big Bond fan. Were you impressed with that, Sands? And, of course, Sean Connery, uh, when they were filming from Russia with Love, we were talking about this earlier. It was filmed in Loch Craignish, and the boats were Ferry Huntsman, uh, a very fast British motorboat from Ferry Engineering that built the Ferry Swordfish aircraft. And um, my aunt had a shop in Ardrishig. She worked in a shop in Ardrishig, and she was serving on the counter, and this great big man she said, uh, she looked up and said, hello, can I help you? And it was Sean Connery. They were filming from Russia with Love. And he was very, she said he was very handsome. Goldfinger was the architect. Oh, was it Goldfinger? Sorry about that. I beg your pardon, right. Erno Goldfinger. Right, okay, I'm sorry about that. I stand corrected. But were you impressed with that little snippet? My class are refusing to wear masks. I'm staying at home. Who to tell? If your class won't wear masks, they're breaking the law. Sounds like the bloke for the episode is still game. So there we are. Thank you. Victor, meet the lasses. Are you not tired, Scotty? Of course not. Goodness sake. Plenty of energy. I'm a young man, for goodness sake. I'm going partying when all this lockdown stops. Well, party. I'll, I'll meet up with one other person. That's a party. <laughs> Have you ever visited Coventry Transport Museum? No, but I would love to. Sounds great. Favourite Bond girl and Bond villain? Joanna Lumley would be my choice for the favourite Bond girl. And um, or Halle Berry, of course. And also the lovely one um, that came out of the sea in the white bikini. Yes. Um, who came out of the sea in the white bikini? Come on. It's just uh, slipped my mind there. Have you ever visited the Triumph Motorcycle Headquarters? Uh, no, but the Bonneville was the big one when I was wee. The Triumph Bonneville. 
There we are. Free entry. Excellent stuff. I could sit all night and listen to your story, Scotty. Alan, thank you. I'm just uh, having a good chat with the world, you know. Think that's what it's about. Do you have a TV license? I do. This is a late live. It is indeed. I've met Joanna Lumley. She's lovely. Ursula Andress. That's the one. And of course, um, did we not have the other wonderful lady? Oh, the one that played Pussy Galore. There we are. Um, oh, come on. That's terrible. It's late at night. I'm forgetting these things. What's the most interesting encounter you've had in life? I'll show you a picture that might tell you something. Do you recognize anybody there? Right? And just there is McClure. Yes, there's McClure, and you know this gentleman? Absolutely. Having a chat with the Chief Constable, the Honour Black Man. Thank you. Brilliant. Loved all that. They had to put a disclaimer in the novel to avoid a libel case with Erno Goldfinger and say that there was no resemblance to anybody living or dead. Absolutely. It's Scotty. Prince Charlie. Yes, that's right. Yes, very, very interesting man, very clever man, very switched on, very sensitive man to people. There we are. These people deserve a lot of respect. Do you support Scottish independence? Um, I'm not political, but economically Scotland could do very well, but we must keep the Queen as our head of state and make it quite clear, otherwise independence won't happen. You talk about your time in Nation Radio, I can. I loved every second of it. He's all right. He has Greek-European blood. Uh, Philip, yes, of course, lovely man. He's actually Danish. He was born in Corfu because the family had been invited to take the throne of Greece. My dear man, top of the morning from Ireland, Pierce. How lovely to have you with us. Do you believe? No, Guava. I don't like that. I'll not ban you, but we don't like that. That's not true. Uh, going to bed now, Scotty. Dinky you do. Uh, Blowfield was a member of Ian Fleming's Boodles Club. Yes, Boodles. I, I know it. And the beef steak and stuff like that related to Harry. Yes, Prince Charles. Uh, well, yes, but there were problems there. You know, absolutely. Did you watch The Crown? So do you think Charles and Philip were portrayed accurately? Well, you see, I have quite a lot of inside knowledge and there are a number of inaccuracies, but there we are. You're so amazing, man. You remind me of my uncle. Uh, are the royal family truly free or do their spin doctors do a lot of speaking for them? Well, I think the spin doctors are there because they have very, very busy lives. I mean, the senior royals do about 500 engagements a year. They are self-financing. They bring in an absolute fortune. So the half-witted idiots that go, oh, their parasites are taking out money. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I can give you every figure. I know every penny about it. The Queen would be happy to the monarch of an independent Scotland in the EU. I think she'd be delighted. But you see, independence can't happen without her say-so. There we are. You're funny. Uh, Scotty, would you ever appear on a US TV channel? Yes, of course, Simperoni. Um, do you not think when the Queen steps down, the monarchy is finished? No, Alan. The monarchy can never, ever be finished. And let me explain to you why. Don't get distracted by personalities or individuals. The Queen and Prince Philip have been outstanding, you know, and are outstanding. But he's going to be 100 in about eight weeks' time. She's going to be 95 I think next week or something like that, if I remember. Is it the 23rd her birthday of April? Anyway, she's going to be 95. They still put in a full shift. He's semi-retired. She will do her boxes. Geezer says, up the Royal Artillery. We've got a British Army boy, Geezer. Uh, so there we are. Uh, so the monarchy in Scotland is 2,347 years old. Yeah, the ancestors of Rhee, the old Pictish and Celtic kings. 
All the Scottish kings, they're, they're, there's a whole load of them buried in Iona. So there we are, you see. Uh, then later, Kenneth MacAlp in 963, I think it was, crowned at Dunad Fort in Argyll, just at Kilmartin outside Loch Gilpit. So you've got all that going. Now, the function of the monarch, although there's all the, the public stuff, is as the curator and custodian of the crown. The crown is the symbol of authority for all of us. In America, they're stuck with a flag. They wanted Bonnie Prince Charlie to be their king, but he turned it down. So there you are. So America wanted a king, a Scottish king. The, the, the queen is 50% Scots. Her mother was 100% Scots. You know, so wonderful experience. The bloodlines are incredible, and they are the right people to be the family caring and uh, looking after the crown. That's the function. So the monarchy can never, ever, ever, ever be finished. Do you see what I mean? It's as relevant now as ever. Have you ever been to Inverness and D5 for Folk at Teesside? Simbaroni, I've been to the lot. Do you like Colombo with Peter Folk? I adore Colombo. I worked with a guy whose nickname was Colombo, and he used to put on this coat, and he just looked like him. And we used to say, uh, excuse me, sir, just one more thing. <laughs> I adore it. Have you ever broken any bones? Uh, no, I don't think I have. Hey, brother, I joined your video five times. My wife has bad. Sorry, don't worry about that. The monarchy is over. Long live the republic. No, there's no republic, Snuggle. Why on earth would you ever want a republic. You know, these are for countries that can't get royalty. Why does everyone hate England? We're all the same boat. I don't think anybody does hate England. I think they don't like the arrogance of the Westminster government towards the other three countries. You know, I think that's your problem. So there we are. Uh, Andy, again, just a lot of nonsense. You know, of course there's German blood. I mean, all our top music is German. You know, the uh, Highland Cathedral, I think, is German. So there we are. Handel wrote the national anthem, the water music, all that. Uh, so there we go. Now, who have we got here? Uh, reptile again. We don't know. There's been nothing proved there. Nothing proven. So there we are. The Queen was an important figure. So there we are, absolutely. Uh, why do you think the Welsh survived when the Irish and Scots language did not? That's an interesting one, isn't it? Yes, of course. Wales is a principality, the Prince of Wales. Would America benefit from a monarchy? Or are they better with presidents? Well, no, you could have both, you see. See, I think Alex Salmond would have been a very good president of Scotland. And then you have the monarch as the head of state. But I think it's a bit late now uh, at the moment. We'll see what happens. The Crown's a drama series, absolutely. You're a very intelligent man, says Sam. We thank you, Langmey, your lum reek. So there are guys I'm going to have to dash. It's been lovely being with you. Please follow me. Let's see if we've got any followers yet. There we go. I'm just waiting at this. Yeah, we've got a few followers. I don't understand why I have hundreds of thousands of viewers and just 7,500 followers. Very strange. Uh, Westminster intentionally ignored the whole North and Scotland. They really don't care. Well, if they don't care, let's go. There we are. You like the Germans? Yeah, very much so. They are our allies and great friends. Germany, along with our allies and great friends, Germany, they were our business partners in Europe. We controlled 30% of the whole market. We sat at the big table. 28 countries, 510 million people. Now we have nothing. Nothing. Just a, a few hoorie Henrys. Do you like wolf tones? I do. I love them. The Germans started the wars long, long time ago. Absolutely. And I think you might find that we've started a few ourselves. You know, so, uh, you know, 
People in glass houses can't throw stones. The First World War could have been avoided. The family should have got round the table there. So there we go. You've got the wrong one, Nochte. You're talking about the wrong person. Read your comment and realise how wrong, 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 wrong it is. There we are. Right, guys. I'll sing you the goodbye song. Are we ready? Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Au revoir. Au revoir. And a cheery oh. Good night, everybody. God bless you. Sleep soundly. We hope you have a safe and peaceful good night. This is Scotty McClue saying dinky do to every one of you. And as we say in the best of circles, Dara last.